we are in grammatical analysis of Quran class. Uh, I will recite first. This is Surah Tul Juma, 28 Separa. I will recite first, then we will go back to analyzing. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يسب بحلله ما في السماوات وما في الأرض الملك وما في الأرض الملك القدس العزيز الحكيم هو الذي بعث في الأمين رسولا منهم يتلو عليهم آياته يتلو عليهم آياته ويزكي كيهم ويعلمهم الكتاب والحكمة وإن كانوا من قبل لفي ضلال مبين وآخرين منهم لما يلحقوا بهم وهو العزيز الحكيم ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم فاسأل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم يح ملوها كمثل الحمار ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا سنسل القوم الذين كذبوا بآيات الله والله لا يهدي القوم
ولا يتمنونه أبدا بما قدمت أيديهم والله عليم بالظالمين قل إن الموت الذي تفرون منه فإنه ملاقيكم فإنه ملاقيكم ثم تردون إلى عالم الغيب والشهادة فينبئكم بما كنتم تعملون يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودي للصلاة من يوم الجمعة إذا نودي للصلاة صلاة من يوم الجمعة فاسعوا إلى ذكر الله وذروا البيع ذلكم خير لكم إن كنتم تعلمون فإذا قضيت الصلاة فانتشروا في الأرض وابتغوا من فضل الله وابتغوا من فضل الله واذكروا الله كثيرا لعلكم تفلحون وإذا رأوا تجارة أو لهوان فضوا إليها إن فضوا إليها وتركوك قائما قل ما عند الله خير من اللهم ومن والله خير الرازقين صدق الله العظيم Okay, now grammatical analysis word by word of the text I recited. But we are going to begin with the previous surah's last verse. That is 14. 14. Which begins, Bismillah, Ya ayu al-lazina amanu kunu ansar Allah, kama qala Isa ibn Maryam al-Hawari'in aman ansari illallah. That is the point where we left previously analyzing grammatical grammatically analyzing Quran. Bismillah. Again I appreciate your coming. Of course I appreciate this Ubaid family, four of them. They are 
all our tech students and uh, they have another sister who is married, mashallah, uh, good family. We, we appreciate our friendship with these young girls, future scholars, inshallah. When we go to other side, they will be doing jobs, uh, inshallah ta'ala, hopefully, taqdeer, uh, Allah will help them and Ummah uh, to solve the problems of Ummah in any way possible. Bismillah, Ayah 14 from Surah Al-Safra. Ya ayu alladhina amanu, ya harfi nida ayu, harfi nida ha, harfi tembi. I commented on that too many times. Alladhina ismul mausul amanu comes from amene, it comes from emine, believe. Those who believed, oh people, oh, oh, twice. Pay attention, ha, huh? do believe. I mean, the Arabic style is like that. Oh, who believe, you pay attention, what I am going to tell you. Kunu you be. Tanakina yakunu yukanu kun. Be. Become existent, existing, be. Ansar Allah, you be Ansar Allah, Ansar of Allah. Ansar, help, Nasara. Helps of Allah, helpers of Allah. You be helpers to Allah. This is Ansar. Ansar is good word. So in Islamic history, the people who migrated from Mecca to Medina, called Muhajir, immigrants. Then local Muslims who helped them, called Ansar. But Ansar, the word Ansar is used in Quran, almost in the same context, different atmosphere, different context. We are coming. You, Allah is telling, O oh, people, Muslims, you be Ansar of Allah. Addressing the Muslims during the time of Prophet, addressing them, covering us, the ones who follow. Because any address, anything, any order in Quran includes Muslims today, except excluding if there is Something special for them, not for us, for other people. There are in Quran very rarely some orders, very specific, for that only for Prophet, like having married, married, married the Prophet uh, up to nine or eleven in his time, all of them. This was specific for them. Tahajjud was farz, specific. Lamina al-layli fa tahajjud bihi nafilatan lak. Do tahajjud, this is nafila for you. What nafila means? Like addition for you, but not for people. So, for people is not farz, tahajjud. If we do, that is okay, good. But it is advisable. But for Prophet, farz. Why? Lak. Tahajjud. Do tahajjud order. Amr. This is usul al-fiqh subject. Yes, this is ayah usul al-fiqh. Scholars don't know usul al-fiqh. Many them don't know. Many imams they don't know. They are doomed to fail in serving ummah. Because usul al-fiqh is very, very formidable, very needed. Fiqh. Methodology of fiqh. Every day there are hundreds of questions. How to solve them? With true usul al fiqh, methodology of usul al fiqh, you will rationalize things from ayahs, from verses, and from fiqh. Given answers before, they are not fitting today, but you need to make that fit. Not artificially, but scholarly. How? through Usul al
اصول الفقه is neglected in America نه زیرو اوکی کونو یو بی انصار الله انصار اوف الله انصار تو الله کما لایک که حرف الجد لایک ما داد قال سید عیسا عیسا ابن سن مریم سن اوف دی مریم عیسا سید للحواريين فور حواريس تو حواريس هو حواريس ديسايبلز ان انجلش هاو ماني 11 اور 12 12 دو يو نو ذات عيسى عليه السلام سترغلد لايك موسى لايك ابراهيم بتي ناتر جماعه We are happy having Jama'a here. 5,000 people or 3,000 people pray tomorrow or something. They didn't hear it. They did not have Jama'a. Isa a.s. did not have Jama'a. Did not have Jama'a. Only 12 people. So he told to his 12 people, disciples who accepted him as like a prophet or who were next to him, his companions, okay, men who Ansari, my Ansar il Allah to Allah, who is my Ansar to Allah, who will be with me, helping me be Ansar to Allah, Ansar help, 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 Nasr. Who will be with me? What a marvelous question. We are going to struggle. We are going to act, execute this plan. Who will be with me? Leader must ask, must make sure at the beginning. Otherwise, he may be running ahead. Previous commanders used to not hide behind. Like tell the army, you attack, I am going to watch you. Enemy will not know I am hiding somewhere. I am safe. You go. Sultans, Sultans, Salafins, Sultans of Ottoman Empire, when there was a war, or a commander, they were front, they were first line attacking enemy. No, no. Commander does not stay behind. No, no. This new technique. You go, I will be sitting here. You go, you do, I'm telling you. This is too bad. Somebody said, soldiers win the war, fight, die, win the war, or fight, battle, soldiers, but commanders behind win the war, without being in the, in the fight. This is not the system of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, or they, they, they all. Good and bad, but this is the situation. Man Ansari illallah, who will be Ansar for me, Isa alayhi salam. So, Ansar is used by Isa alayhi salam, I believe, twice in Quran. One here, another one is called al Hawariyuna, is called Isa, Isa minumul kufa, called Man Ansari illallah. قال الحواريون نحن أنصار الله آمنا بالله وأشهد بأننا مسلمون ربنا آمنا بما أنزلت واتبعنا الرسول فاكتبنا مع الشاهدين marvelous دعاء in twice in القرآن as I remember refer to عيسى asking his people are you my أنصار here prophet is addressed 
he is addressing to his people, he answered, same thing. Ala said, Al-Hawariyun Hawaris. Hawari, there are two words. One is Huri. Huri is like young girls in Jannah. Jannah, Hurul Ain, in Jannah, in paradise. But Hawari is disciples. When you mention, when you say Hawari, generally disciples of Isa alayhi salam. Hawari said, Hawari Yun said, Nahnu we are Ansarullah, Ansar of Allah, Nasara, Ansar, help, help of Allah. The Amanat believed Taifatun, a group, Min Bani Israel, from Bani Israel, from the children of Israel, from the sons of Israel, a group believed the Kafarat. Disbelieved, Taifatun, other Taif, other group. So some believed, some did not. The Ayyadna, we strengthened. Yad, hand. Ayyada, aid, yada, handed, made hand, gave hand. Ayyada, strengthened. Yad, aid, a aid plural a d aid plural of yet a yet strengthened a yet we did you a you do you a you do a yet now we strengthened a lezina those who amen who believed Allah Allah against how do we him their enemies we strengthened we supported believers in their fight against enemies, their enemies, فَأَصْبَحُوا They entered mourning, or they became, mourning or other time, ظَاهِرِينَ Outstanding. Standing out. Meaning, defeaters. They turned to be defeaters. They defeated the other side. They, they stood up. Everybody noticed. They became above seen, zahir, not hidden. Above all. But that means they could challenge them, defeated them, Knock them away. Okay. Now Surah Al Juma. Already recited. Surah Al Juma. Jumu'ah. Jumu'ah. Same. Here, Haraka is Jumu'ah. Same. Uh, pronunciation or same Lugha different uh, pronunciation but same Ismail Surah Al-Jumu'ati Madaniyatun this is Madani Medina revealed in Medina Wahiya Ihta Ashara Ayatan this is one and ten Ayah that means eleven Ayah Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim يُسَبِّحُ لِلَّهِ مَا فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ وَمَا فِي الْأَرْضِ I commented a lot on Bismillah, on يُسَبِّحُ سَبَّحَ سَبَّحَ سُبْحَ يُسَبِّحُ يُسَبِّحُ سُبْحَان سُبْحَان Glorifying يُسَبِّحُ Does glorify لِلَّهِ Allah مَا دَتْ فِي السَّمَاوَاتِ in sky Whatever are in sky glorifies Allah وَمَا دَتْ فِي الْأَرْضِ in earth, in the earth. I mean, whatever are there in the sky and on the earth, they glorify Allah. So, Lillahi, glorify Allah. Lillahi is Majrur Li. Al Maliki is Sufa. That is why Maliki, not Maliku. 
صفة takes حركة of موصوف لله is موصوف اوكي ملكي king ruler القدوسي holy very holy so holy one sovereign يوسف علي ملكي the holy one القدوسي العزيزي mighty might عزيز عزة power honor power honor whatever الحكيمي wise so these are العزيز القدوس العزيز الحكيم all multiple adjectives of للهي That is why all are majrur, azizi, maliki, kudusi, al-azizi, al-hakimi. Actually, what are the meanings of these 99 names of Allah in English is very difficult, very challenging. What kudus is, holy one, what holy one, exalted, what do you mean? What is exalted? I mean, if somebody asks, difficult to explain, difficult to explain. But I comment, I said many times before, I am repeating, I think Jewish people did a good job before us by finding good English words For the Hebrew words, almost the same, like Aziz, like Hakim, because they are also monotheist, believing in one God. In their prayer books, in their translation of the Torah, in their Talmudic. So, we Muslims must benefit from them. But for that, we need to know Hebrew. I never met any Muslim scholar in my life who studied Hebrew, Muslim scholar, Ali, after studying madrasas and everything. I never met one. I never met one. Yeah, I, found, I met some Palestinian brothers who are citizens of Israel, Arab, who studied in a mixed Israeli school and learned Hebrew. Yeah, just common men like me. But scholars, I never met. But for Ummah here in America, for Imams, future Imams, real Imams, if they want to be real Imam, they need to study after Arabic, after Tafsir, Hadith, and everything, locally trained, and Greek, Latin, Hebrew. And they need to figure out finding the best words in Arabic, benefiting from Hebrew people who did the same job before us. Why not? Yes, I hope future generation will get the message and this will be Sadaqa Jariya, my words, Sadaqa Jariya for you, for you when we all go to other side, somebody, oh, somebody sat in the library, there were books and behind who that person was tearing himself and repeating and saying, what, what was that? We never met any man like that. In America, in America, in Egypt, in Egypt, in, here, in Turkey, in Turkey. Everybody was chanting differently. You chant differently, get the result different. Chant this way, I hope we will get some result. I hope Oh. 
huve ki Allah iz ellezi hu ba'ase send sent did send has sent ba'ase 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 have two meanings to send letter something also to re- revive resurrection from grave ba's ba'd al mawt he is the one who send did send fi in al ummiyina ummi ummi people um mother ummi a person who belongs to mother i mean ascribe to mother what that means like the person who is like as he is born without education no additional illiterate without education like he is born as is born to his mother and his her mother grew up like that nobody shaped him shaped him or shaped her or shaped or educated illiterate the prophet was ummi but his people also were ummi arabs were not literate of course what literate means what illiterate means the bigger i mean they have literature arabs they have good memory they poems and everything but they were not people of letter literate let literate letter writing they did not write you cannot write you can first they did not have paper parchment or anything in pharaoh time before arabs before the prophet or in in china uh like uh, paper in china china oh centuries old they were not like that arabs did not have paper did not use paper quran was not written on paper because there was no paper so quran has been carved on leather camel's leather or something no sheep no goat no sea no big building no trees no houses made from lumber from trees or something why i mean saudi arabia speaking about saudi arabia tent tent sand sun heat camel no water no river no river somewhere a little water a little bush or something dripping water coming o- oasis that is called oasis oasis sarab they used to think i mean people when they are going they used to see in their vision oh there is a water over there sarab mirage sarab but there is no water when they go there to go there go there no water no water no water so that was the environment that was the condition they grew up in but neighbor iraq neighbor palestine neighbor syria mesopotamia iraq oh all civilization all type of civilization but in in mecca medina surrounding that was not the situation ummi no letter no letter they were arabs were ummi the prophet was ummi they were like no schooling nothing 
like as they have been born from their mother's days. Ummi. Who allazi? He is the one Allah Ba'asa sent, did send fil ummiyina in ummi people among them rasulan a rasul. Rasul messenger. He is the one Allah who sent one rasul, that is Prophet Muhammad, among the people who were ummis, Prophet himself was ummi, minhum, from them. So um, he was from them, he was Arab himself. He was not angel, not jinns. So prophets always speak the language of the people, يُتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِنْ رَسُولٍ إِلَّا بِلِسَانِ قَوْمِ Lisan. So imams must speak the language of the people. Not just mechanical sentences, culture of the people, imams. Ummah must train imams to do the job of Prophet did in the language of the people. People speak this way, this way. Their culture is different? Yeah, in their culture. Imam must address people in their language, in their culture. Islam must be explained, must be put, must be presented to the people in their own language. For that you need to be training, trained. Ummah failed to do this. They didn't do. Ummah in America is failing, not raising imams here. Failed before. Because imported imam would not work, because his culture is different, his language is different. That is why you will have a lot of problems in the masjids, one of the reasons. There are many reasons why Muslims have problems with their imam, with their, in the masjid, fight with each other which is, this is fact everywhere. Why? One of the reasons Imam is not trained to handle the situation. And Imam's culture is different. People's are, cultures are different. What Imam says, they are, Imam are, is unable to address in their hearts and minds with their culture, with their words, their language. So, mean whom from them? The Prophet. Yet, lo, he was reciting Talawat, Tilawat, Tilawat reciting, Tilawat Quran, I mean, Quran Khani, Urdu speakers. But Khani is not Urdu, not uh, Persian, not, it is Persian, Khani Ben. It is Persian, Khani then to recite, Khan and the reciter to recite, but it has been borrowed, Quran Khani, Quran recitation, borrowed from, from Persian uh, to Urdu speakers, but that is not uh, Punjabi or local or Pakistani or Sindhi local word, that is Persian, Persian origin, origin. So, yet no, the Prophet does tilawe, telawe, tulawe, yetlu, yutlawu. This is tilawe, this is verb, telawe, verb, naqis, wawi, like ghazawe, wawi, wow, and ghaza, tala, it turns to, wow turns to, alif in talafus, in ya, in writing. Yetlu recites alayhim upon them ayatihi Allah's ayat, his ayat. So what what, what is the Prophet's job? Three. Look, three. Why Prophet has been sent? What is the reason? What was his job in brief? What was his duty? What did he come for? To do for to do what he First tilawah of ayat, that is Qur'an. So the duty of Prophet is teaching Qur'an. 
reciting, reciting covers like teaching, like explanation, everything, okay? So an imam in training must be well versed in understanding Quran, teaching Quran, reciting Quran. The prophetic, prophetic job, prophetic task, yet no. So this is first. This, this similar ayah, similar type of ayah mentioned in other parts of Quran many times. So what is the function? What is the duty of the Prophet? Why did he come? First, tilawah. Tilawatul Quran, tilawatul kitab. Okay? Second, where you said key him. Teskiya. Zekaya, zeta. Clean. Zeta. You give zeta, you are cleaning your wealth. It makes filthy not to give zeta. Your wealth becomes filthy. Bad, unclean, impurified, not pure. So, zekkeye, clean. Zekkeye, zutkeye, yuzekkeye, yuzekkeye, does clean. Him, them, ve yuzekkeye him, ve yuzekkeye him. But, I will come to Ezekiye, just let me, let me go, I will come to this. Once more. So Tazkiyah is second job, one of the jobs of the Prophet he came for to do. Then we Muhum teaches to them who means Allama Ullima Yuallimu Yuallamu. Ilm knowledge. Allama give knowledge. Teach. Yuallimuhum teaches them Al Kitab at the book. So Almost same previous one, like recite the books, his verses, but teaches the books, okay? Well, hikmata and hikmah. Hikmah is wisdom, but some say this is general wisdom. Some say hikmah is hadith, because hadith covers wisdom. It is full of wisdom, explanation of Qur'an. So the Prophet came to this world, what for? According to desire. Pray, job. One is reciting Qur'an or teaching Qur'an, the book, combining first one, third one. Then teaching Hikmah, Hikmah, Hadith, or Wisdom. Both are important. I will go. Third one is Tazkiyah. We will come to that. Tazkiyah. So, whether Hikmah is Hadith, Hadith covers hik, Wisdom, but general Wisdom, like wise man, thinks deeply, acts accordingly, this is about sanity, about knowledge, different than knowing something, different than acting like regularly, acting wisely, having wisdom that is different. If a family person, father, mother, anyone, is not wise, does not use his wisdom, he may run into problem in his house every day, in her house every day. It's not cheating, not manipulating, but wisdom, where you need to act wise. If mother-in-law, father-in-law, or daughter-in-law, brother-in-law, sister-in-law does not act wisely, he will never save himself from any trouble. Every day he will have trouble. If you are not acting wise in your work, may Allah help you. You cannot survive. If a commander, if a leader does not act wisely, you will pay for that very badly. 
Wise wisdom is different. I mean, this is beyond hadith meaning. Wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Of course, no doubt about that. Allah is wise hakim. In addition to alim, knowledgeable, all knower, but not enough, all knowing, all wise. Hakim, Allah. So wisdom is really what Ummah needs or lacks. Ummah, mafish wisdom. Mafish wisdom. That is why we run into problem. Or somebody may have a little wisdom, but other will not have it. So it will burst over there. Sometimes you will have wisdom. In other times you will not have it. Then you will run problem over there. That problem will erase what good things you did before. Mess up. Of course. The Quran says, the prophet's job was to give wisdom, sir. Prophet, prophet, prophet. He has been sent by Allah to humanity for what? Three things, one of them is wisdom. Let me come to what, to Tezkiyah. This Tezkiyah is mentioned in the Quran. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ It goes like that. This Tezkiyah Mentioned in Quran different. Teskia clinic. This is different than wisdom you have. Different than knowledge one may have. Teskia is Teskia to Akhlaq. Akhlaq. Teskia to nafs. Controlling ego. Controlling nafs. Controlling your anger. Controlling your keeping yourself under control, cleaning inside yourself by the murshid, by somebody, by yourself. This is whole Sufism, Tasawwuf. Islamic Tasawwuf is based on that. This test here. You say taqwa, like fear from Allah or protecting yourself, that is test here. Nafs, Mutmainna, Tezkiya. Controlling your ego, Ene, no Ene, Tezkiya. Forgiving other people, Tezkiya. Instead of blaming others, blaming yourself. You deserve that. Somebody hit you? Somebody hit you? Yeah. At the back, you get angry? Yeah. Commonly you say, who this guy is? Hitting me. Let me hit back. No, sir. You deserve. That is why Allah sent that guy next to you with force. That is why he, he hit you in, in your neck. On your neck. You deserve. Don't get angry to him. Because... He did this with the, with the order of Allah, destiny. How can you dare to be against the system Allah established, takdir, destiny? Be careful. You are arrogant. You don't look shaitan outside letting you do. You have shaitan here, ego. How to keep clean yourself from ego, Tezkiya? You don't like Tasawuf, Sufism? Okay. Do you like Taqwa? Yes. Do it. Do you like yourself cleaning Belchazim in al ghaiza Controlling, keeping your anger, your emotions under control? Yeah. This Quran says, yeah, do it. That is, I am calling Tasawwuf, Sufism, you don't like, but do what is content is, what Quran says to you. Don't be distracted in your Salah, 
دو خوشو ان خودو don't call تصوف صوفی if you don't like but do it can you do it I hope you can do it this is تزکیه so تزکیه is the basis of Islamic Sufism developed from the time of Prophet Muhammad if you like I know Wahhabis will not agree but they need Tezkiya too King needs Tezkiya he is sitting wealth of Ummah gas petrol this is not his grandfather's land Saudi Arabia was not his when he was roaming in the in the desert with camels western powers collaborate then check muslims out sit with the help of western powers sell the dignity of ummah sit money <laughs> haram sir you know haram huh? haram Haram, haram, haram. Eat haram, do haram. Steal haram, do haram. You need Tazkiya. He needs Tazkiya. Islam. Islam. Did you forget Islam? Yes. Yes, yes. Did we forget Islam? Yes, we did forget Islam. Real Islam we forget. Tazkiya. وَإِنْ كَانُوا إِفْ بَيَارْ مِنْ قَبْلُ بِفَوْرْ إِفْ بَيَارْ بِفَوْرْ فِي لَا of course فِي إِنْ بَلَالٍ فَنَسْتَرِي مُبِينٍ كَلِيرْ I need to rush even if they were أُمِّي أَرَبْس إِنْ فَنَسْتَرِي but Allah sent them to a Rasul who will teach Quran حِكْمَةً and wisdom everything Tazkiya ve akharina others akhar akhar others min whom from them akharin from them lam others so the prophet came to teach ummis also to teach others who are others look who are others akhar others who are others The Prophet's time, they were Sahabi, yes, but who are others? وَاَخَرِينَ Others, mean whom from them, لَمَّا وَنْ يَلْحَقُوا جَوِنْ أَنَكْسْ بِهِمْ تُو دَمْ لَحِقَ لَحِقَ لَمَّا وَنْ يَلْحَقُوا لَحِقَ لَحِقَ يَلْحَقُوا يُلْحَقُوا يُلْحَقُوا لَحِقَ تُو جَوِنْ فَرَمْ دِي بِحَيْنْدْ Like army is moving, Somebody is left behind, he joins to army, he is lahiq, he joins. Annexing something, lahiqa. Lahiqa, when you write lahiqa in your book, this is epilogue in Latin. Epi, log, words, logos, words. Epi, last, not prologue, forward. At the book, at the end of your book, lastly you write something that is epilogue. You can put epilogue. Epilogue. So, you annex. Who are those people who will join to them? You, me. Mentioned in Quran. To the end of this world. He is Al-Aziz, Aziz, Allah, mighty Al-Hakim, Hakim. I need to rush. Dalika, that is, Fadlullahi, grace of Allah. This is grace of Allah. Yu'ti gives, he, it, man whom, yashau, he desires. Ataya, came. Ataya gave. Ataya, 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 u'ti, ataya, u'ti, yu'ti, 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 Ita iti or not iti ati 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 babulifan. Allah gives that 
Man yashau whomever. This is the fadl of Allah. Allah gives whomever he wants. Wallahu Allah dul fadli owner is owner of fadl al azimi Great. Allah do is owner of fadl. Fadl, grace of Allah. Allah is the owner of grace of Allah. No doubt about that. I think I will conclude at this point. Surah Al-Jumma. We, lo- we left in fifth.